Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Premiere Scripting Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to import footage, create and delete or manage your bins inside of the program. With this simple script, we're going to be able to import any file we want. We're going to create a bin, move that file inside of the bin, and then at the end we'll add a capability to delete the bin, which will also remove any footage inside of it. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this extension where we're writing code. You can also check out the script code in the GitHub link down there as well. Follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. Hang out with some of our VIPs and members and uh, just learn tons about scripting where you can't learn anywhere else. And also, if you'd like to help support us financially and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a YouTube member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. So if you didn't already check out the first video in this whole month of Premiere tutorials, I created this Premiere script editor extension, which is going to allow us to easily create, open, save, and run scripts within Premiere, because obviously there is no file scripts button like there is in After Effects. But again, in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to import footage and manage bins. So I'm going to create a new JavaScript file. Let's just call this um, import and bins and hit okay. This is going to create a new script for us, which I'll go ahead and clear here. There's gonna be a couple bugs with this script editor, which need to be worked out over time. But just to make sure it's working, we're going to say alert, hello. We're gonna click on save and run it. And as you can see, we get a nice alert. So the first thing we're gonna look at is how can we import files or a file from our computer into Premiere. The first thing I'm gonna do is copy the path to my video file. So I'm gonna create a variable called video file path and set this equal to a string. And I'll go ahead and paste this here, which refers to my videos folder. And I have this uh, example piece of footage here with a very specific name. So I'll copy the name and I'll paste that after our videos. Now, because this is a forward slash, there needs to be two of them. So that way, when it gets interpolated, it only appears as one. That's just a tiny hack. If you're using these type of slashes, you can just use one. But if you're using this type of slash, there needs to be two. Now, all we need to do to import our files is grab app.project and call the method import files. Now it's called import files because we have the option to import a batch of files if we want. We could provide a whole array full of different uh, files and import all of those. But what we need to do is provide it with an array of paths to our files. So because I just have one, I'm going to fill our array with video file path. Now if I go ahead and save this and run it, you can see we're now able to import our file no problem. And in fact, let me see what happens if I duplicate it and see if it will import this three times if I put it three times. Save it, run it. And as you can see, we can now import an array of paths. So if you have a whole folder full of files that you want to import, you can simply get the array of all those file paths and uh, then have easy access to importing all of those. So now that we know how to import files, Let's move on to the next bit, which is creating and managing bins. Bins are kind of a tricky thing to use sometimes in Premiere, but they can provide a lot of functionality it may seem like is impossible. If you want to, for example, remove things uh, from the project panel here, the way to do that is not by calling file.remove or something. The answer is to create a bin, move the items you want to remove into the bin, and then use the built-in method called delete bin. There's no delete item or footage. We just need to put it inside of a bin and then remove that. Now we're going to create a variable for our bin. We'll just call it new bin. And to create this bin, we're going to say app.project. And we need to refer to the root item of the project. The project itself kind of represents the whole window screen here. But the root item represents our project panel here. So if I add, say, a folder to this, our root item now has one item within it. So we're going to add it to our root item. And we're going to say create bin. 
Now the argument for the create bin function required is the name of our bin. So I'm just gonna call this remove me because we know that this bin's use is going to be to remove any files we want. Of course, you can create bins to organize files and keep them in there, but in this case, it's gonna be used to remove things. So now if I go ahead and save this and run it, we're going to import a piece of footage and then add this remove me folder. Now, one interesting thing is if I, if I was to reverse this and I create the bin first, what this will do is import our footage into the bin. As you can see, we have our bin with this footage inside of it. Why is that? Well, because when we create a bin, if we just create the bin, it selects the bin. And whatever item we have selected when we import some footage is going to be the parent folder. In order to make sure that we don't have this selected after we create it, what we can do is say app.project.root item and we're just gonna call dot select. And what this will do is select any item we want. So if I run this, it's going to now deselect everything. If I wanted to specifically select a bin, I could then say new bin dot select, and it will then reappear as if that bin is selected. So that's a quick tip. If you want to deselect a folder, make sure you import it to wherever, or if you want to select a folder and specifically import it to there, that works as well. Now, with that being said, we don't technically need to move the bin, but I still would like to show you how to do that. So I'm going to make sure the root is selected. Then I'm going to import uh, my footage. Now, if I run this, I want to see what the position of the footage is. You can see we have two items, so it's the second item. In order to move my bin, I'm going to say app.project.root item, and we want to get all of the children within our root item. We have two children, our folder and our footage here. I'm gonna get the second child, so index one. And then I'm going to say move bin. And where am I gonna move it to? Our new bin. And now what this should do, once I save it and run it, we should now have the uh, footage, footage moved into the bin folder. And as you can see, we have clearly done that. So that's how you can import footage, create, move, delete, and manage bins. So the last thing we might want to do is delete our bin. This is going to make it look like nothing happens when we run it because initially we have zero items, then we'll have zero when we're finished, but we know we're going to be removing that footage. So if we want to remove a bin, we simply need to call the bin and say delete bin. Now if I save it and run it, you can see the operation processed and then immediately deleted everything because our footage and our folder are both getting deleted. But that's going to do it for this quick tip video today, guys. That's how you can import footage into Premiere, create, manage, and delete bins as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this extension to edit your own code in Premiere, as well as check out the code for this specific tutorial in the description as well. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates, and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to become a channel member and help us out financially, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link in the description. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.